this video series is going to be going through the end of year exam paper for RT. This is the PREC exam paper one for November 2020 for grade 12. So let's start with question 1.1. So the first part of this document shows us what files are in there and shows us what the, the graphical user interface looks like. And we're going to start with question 1.1. It's very simple. It just means that there's a combo box that contains some values, red and green, and we must write code for the button that must do the following. So let's go look at the program. So yeah, we've got the program. So when we go and click on this button, we must write the code for 1.1. And what do they want me to do? first thing they want me to do if i just go back to the question the font size of the text must be set to 12. okay so the font size must be set to 12 and that is of the i'm assuming the button or the combo box so all the details about the combo box so write code that changes the combo box text okay so we'll do that so that's the combo box so it's combo box 1.1 dot the font i would assume dot and i hope there's a size yes there's a size which is equal to an integer, which we will set to a 12. And it kicks in there, there we go, equals to 12. There we go, so we set the font size to 12. Then we need to make blue appear as the third option. Well, there's already a red and a green, so to, we just got to add blue then, because it'll automatically add it to the third option. So we can set the combo box dot items dot add, and then we're going to add the word blue. To the list there we go and then the last thing the item green must be displayed as the default option and so let's have a look where is if i look at the current list this is double make double show what is in this combo box let's go to the items so we see green is the first option so we want green to be the default which means that is option zero this is option one so we want to set the item index. At the moment, the item index is negative one, which means it's not selected. So when we click on this, we want the comma box item index to be set to the green option, which is the first option. So I'm not the item height, Mr. Long. The item index must be set to zero. Let's test to see if that works. Very simple, getting our Delphi skills warmed up for the bigger question. So we're going to click on it and it's obviously made it bigger green is the default and you'll see blue is added as the third option okay so there we go that was quite easy so let's move on to something slightly more challenging let's move on to the next question 1.2 where we need to calculate the area of the of a kite so there's they give us the area or the how to calculate the formula um so there's they give us some examples fantastic now they tell us that they've provided code that will get in the two values for the diagonal. So we will get the two values, diagonal A and diagonal B. It's done for us. We must do the following. They actually give us quite a few steps of what we need to do here. So I'm just going to look at this formula. So you see when we work out the area, there's going to be a divide. So I'm going to make sure that my answer is real. Declare suitable numeric value to store the area of the cut. So let's go to our program. Let's go to the cut option over here. Double click here. And there's a label. I'm assuming you're going to write the answer in LBLQ12. So let's go to the button. And there's the provider code there. They've given us two input boxes. A little tip if you ever need to do inbox, input box later on and you forget in this example, we always come back here and see. We look, use the provider code to help you. And so let's have a look. We need to declare a variable. So I'm going to declare a real for the area. So because we're doing some sort of division. So the moment you're dividing, you know that you need a real value. Okay, so we've got our values. Out, so we declared it. Then we need to test whether the diagonal A is greater than the diagonal B. Okay, so they actually give us step by step what we need to do. So if diagonal A, which is that value, our diagonal A is greater than our diagonal B, um, some people are asking why how did I get that code to just appear if you just type in the first few letters of the code and press control spacebar then all the things that start with that will appear so that's a little tip if you need that if diagonal a is bigger than diagonal B yes display the area we must calculate the area and display it in the label to one decimal place that seems quite simple so if that is true we can do a few things I'm gonna say begin end we need to calculate the area and the area if we remember correctly, let's go up a bit. It is the diagonal times the diagonal divided by two. 
So I'm going to see, so it's the diagonal A. Tom's at bar, was it Tom's? Was it long? Tom's at bar, the diagonal of number two. And I'm going to put just, I don't think we need to put brackets because I'm bottom nice, but I'm going to put brackets around. Anyway, that answer must be then be divided by two. So let's have a look. So that times that divided by two, that seems legit. And then we must put that in the label for LBL12, the caption property. And that must equal, how do they want me to display it? Do they say how I must display it? Um, I'm going to go use that there. They say the area of the cut. So always use their. Um, the screenshots make sure that you follow exactly how they want because there might be some marks allocated for how you display it so the area of the cart the area of the cart is square centimeters is xxx square centimeters so we want something that looks like that um, and we want to replace this with the actual value so i'm going to put some spaces there so we want to put in the r area over here but the problem is this is whole thing's a string and this is a real so it's converted from a float to a string but they want us to display to one decimal place so we can use float to string f i'm actually going to put this on a new line so you guys can see it float to string f and then we need an ff fixed Again, if you're not too sure about it, just type FF control space bar and it gives you all the options. Comma eight, and they want it to, well, I don't mind what that number is in front of the decimal, but behind the decimal, they definitely want it to be one decimal place. They specify that. So we need to make sure that the second number is a one. So that's one decimal place. So that's what will happen if it is true. If it's not if the diagonal is not greater, so this is the else part, so then we're going to have to come here to the else. Else, what do they want me to do? Begin, end, this is the end of the else. What do they want me to do? If the value is not bigger, then a pseudo message that displays that the value of one must be bigger than the other. Must that the diagonal A must be bigger than the other. Do they give me an example? No, they don't give me an example of a message. So we can make up our own message. So I'm just going to use a show message over here. So show message uh, diagonal A must be greater than diagonal B. I'm just going to type it in. Hopefully that's okay. Let's see what, let's run it. Let's see if we get the same results that they get. So it's compiling. Well, I'm going to get it to run here. There we go. So we want to type in. So when I type in cut and I type in 27 and then my second value, I think it was 13. I think 13 was the other value that they wanted for B. Then area is that to 13. Yes. And then if it's 27 and 13, it should be Oh, that looks spot on. And if I do it the other way around, if I say 13 and 20, they're in the wrong order now. Now it's good. Hey, hey, hey. Diagonal A must be greater than diagonal B. There we go. Okay, that looks fine. So there we go. That is question 1.1 and 1.2. We'll do some other videos for the other questions. So go to the next video in the list for that one. For more videos from this exam paper, as well as the other videos from other exam papers, go to our playlists on our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave us a like, leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.